Hello everybody and welcome to Earth of Ryan has a go at his own challenge. You guys excited? You guys ready to see what I can do? Well, I've been kind of following the conversation on Discord and I can tell you now, you guys are pretty good. This is going to be really interesting to see how much I can keep up with you. To those who do not know what's going on, you will notice that this world ranking tree looks suspiciously empty. That's because this is a score game. Specifically, I set a challenge a couple of weeks ago to all of you. Can you beat the Ursa Ryan challenge? And specifically, what is the final gold balance you can get with Portugal on a 200 turn deity standard speed six prong snowflake map? I mean, this is going to be a laugh. There's still time, by the way, this video is going up on Wednesday, unless you're in a very strange time zone, in which case it may be going up on very early Thursday morning, looking at you, Australia. But this is going up on Wednesday, and I believe the challenge closes on Saturday. So you still have a couple of days to get involved, join my Discord, find the save file, have a go. Remember, all the rules are up there, but let me just walk you through it. Portugal were introduced in the Frontier Pass and they are insane. Not because of the units getting one site or you having open borders with city-states or having nows that can build Victorias which give you gold in production when you put them around cities and city-states and not even because international trade routes give you 50% extra and there's a navigation school that gives you science for every two coast or lake dial. <gasps> No, not at all. That's not why Portugal is brilliant. It's the plus one trade route capacity when a civilization is met. Now, we've been abusing that with Portugal on huge maps, but they play S tier very, very capably in most maps, as long as there is water for you to send trade routes on, which is most maps, to be fair. Even Pangaea maps, you can have some pretty good trade routes if you're looking for them. So we decided to have a challenge around it. Technically, the standard speed games last 500 turns. That's when a score victory kicks in. But 200 turns is often used as a bit of a, a yardstick for an incredibly good deity run. You get a sub 200 victory on science or culture or domination. You've done very, very well. Maybe domination can be a little bit funny because there are strategies like, like Hungary, for instance, or Mongolia that can kind of push that one a little bit. But a 200 turn science victory is considered to be really, really good. So... I mean, it takes you sort of into the atomic era, that sort of time for, for most people. So we've only got 200 turns and I'm not interested in how you play this game in terms of winning science or culture victories. In fact, I've turned that off. The only thing I'm looking at is gold. What is your gold balance at the end of the game? I want to see the score victory screen and then I want to look immediately up and see what is your bank balance. Heroes and Legends, Monopoly and Corp, Secret Societies, Tech and Civic Shuffles are all on as well as having... Ah, oh, who's on this map? Canada, Sweden, England, I think I put Mali, and somebody else that I can't remember at this point. Canada, I think it might be. So that's everyone. I probably said someone twice there, but we'll, we'll go and have a look at them in a second. And I've been watching you guys basically pick strategies for a long time now. This is, I mean, it's been really, really fun to watch. And I, I'm curious to see how this plays out and how close I can get to your bank balances because I'm expecting you guys to do really, really well. You beat my score, by the way, you get a gold medal. You get 66% of my score, you get a silver medal, you get a third of my score, you get a bronze medal. And the top three I'm going to showcase in the video later down the line. But enough of that. Now, we're going to play my run. Now, we have a tech and civic shuffle tree on. I actually don't know where any of this stuff is, but there are some techs and civics that we want to be going for, namely those that give us gold in trade routes, um, science and culture in trade routes, gold and faith in trade routes. I mean, there's stuff like triangular trade, I believe. Um, is it mercantilism or mercenaries? Or there's, there's some other policy that gives, like, civics are good. So we've got to have a bit of culture coming in. Science-wise as well, navigation schools are obviously good. Sailing, celestial navigation, the ability to put um, boats and improve boats and get more harbours and to be able to get more trade routes generally. Um, commercial hubs, all of these things are very, very, very useful. So those are the kind of things I want to be beelining for. Um, I'm looking out for Maori. He's really, really cool. Being able to put down extra luxuries gives me more monopolies, which gives me a lot more gold. I'm looking for Hercules or Heracles because he is amazing at putting districts down. Um, the triple camper strategy on this mountain is always a good fun one. I'm looking for anything that gives me gold. So Sinbad is amazing for killing barbs. I'm looking for 
Who else would be really, really good? Himiko for getting more envoys. Um, I'm thinking possibly going for owls, although I don't think actually going owls is brilliant for the fourth tier promotion because I don't think the game will go long enough to have that extra gold on the interest on your bank balance. It's more for the trade routes um, and the extra envoys with city-states. So that could be quite useful, as well as gilded vaults. Gilded vaults are also very good. I'm also going to just cross the river here. I like the idea of a coast start because it gives me the sailing boost. Um, let's go for our animal husbandry because it's always really good to find the horses at the beginning of the game. Um, and also it lets me work that thief right from the start of the game, which means that I can try and get a decent pantheon. That is an amazing start. Whoa-hoo! That, I mean, <laughs> I don't ever say I don't give you fun save files. Look at that. That is wonderful. So down in Port Ryan, I've got a choice to make. Do I go for an early monument? An early monument, of course, being... The option of getting a, a quick hero involved. If I can get a quick hero, I can sort of beeline it. Uh, do I go for a quick religion? Um, I'm just trying to think now, actually. Oh, sailing's down here. Do I want to beeline sailing, allowing builders to embark? I don't need to rush it particularly. I mean, that would be a good resource to improve if I could improve it quick, but ultimately, rushing a build is not that great. Just going for an immediate settler might be a decent route for me, actually. I mean, I like to have a, a, a nicely infrastructed, which is a technical term, um, capital with lots and lots of improvements to make sure it's working really well. I think harbours would be cool, galleys would be cool. So yeah, I, mean, I think sailies, sailing is going to be a good thing actually, so we'll go for that. We'll go for mining. There is a quarry there that I can mine, uh, and then there is um, some sheep and another stone here. So I can get a little bit of production on the third ring. I'm going to go for a builder, and then we're going to run from there. What's in the smoking hut of doom? a free military unit and it's a heavy chariot it's always the most powerful heavy cavalry unit you can build and if you haven't found any it's a heavy chariot oh well that's intriguing that is a barb camp with a spearman which means my heavy chariot's going to be absolutely pants at it but my warrior is more capable so i'm gonna have to move him and divert slightly to go and take that out that would give me probably the sanguine pact which is quite exciting um, i'm just going to move my guy around here there are some city states on this prong of the map i always remember this because i've played this map enough there's three city states here three city states on the sort of bottom left and then three right directly in the top so that's what we're going to go and check out if i can find these first that gives me an option to hopefully get a good um sort of hero and beowulf eh, beowulf's all right um did i get owls of minerva no I didn't. I'm kind of looking for that one. Oh, it's just because I found the continent. I didn't actually find the city state. I need to keep going along, actually. There is Samarkand. I did get the three envoy, and that gives me two gold. Perfect. That's a little bit of extra gold. By the way, yes, I know you want to have gold at the end of the game, but I'm reckoning that spending the gold beginning of the game is not a bad idea. Like, I, I want to kind of use gold at the beginning to accelerate my growth and then cash in later. Warrior attacks first, just to take a little bit of strength off the spearman, and then I can get my heavy chariot. But more importantly, that means it stays on more than half health. No, it doesn't. 47. Okay, they could counterattack. Oh, they yourself. didn't. That's good. I was worried they were going to counterattack there, much to my detriment. But no, nope, we're just going to hold for a second, see if we can get this kill. Let's get sailing done quickly. Now, that scout is a problem, but the encampment is all the way over here, so... I've got a little bit of time before they come cruising in. Let's get my quarry in first, like so. Masonry boosted. I've got a nice improved tile to help me go. Um, I think a settler. Let's get that settler going. 13 turns. Nice. One attack and then two attacks. Gives me the camp. I get some era score for it. I can boost military tradition. That's all great. Is the irrigation boost as well. So, I mean, it's, it's always really, really good to see if you can get as many Eurekas as you can because it fills in this tree. It's a really good exercise in remembering where the hell things are. Code of Laws, always go God King at the beginning. You want that Pantheon and we really, really do. And there's Discipline as well. What have we unlocked? There's Foreign Trade. That gives me Traders. So I want to go down there and improving three tiles is something I'm absolutely going to do. It as I get to three line. pop, I'm hoping I'll get a Pantheon soon. I've got 25 faith. That means someone's just clawed one in front of me probably. But never mind. there's Craftsman boosted. And now that I've got sailing, I kind of want to get writing, I think, um, in order to try and build a district, get some science involved. I mean, here's kind of the rough setup. 
I mean, there's three good campus tiles in the middle of the map. The campuses just give you extra science to be able to push you through the game and get those early techs quickly so that you don't just sort of be, you know, you're not messing around with sort of flailing at the beginning of the game. But I'm just thinking whether or not animal husbandry is worth it. I know there is a horse tile somewhere around here. Having resources is good to sell because if you sell the resources to the AI, get a load of money. We get animal husbandry and see if we can get a builder running the beginning of the game. Saying that though, religious settlement somehow is still an option, which is absolutely incredulous. Like, how is that a thing? I was thinking of getting extra production from fishing boats. That would have been good. River goddess, if I ever wanted to go for some amenities with holy sites. That gets me in heroes later in the game. And there's so many different ways you can play this game. But border expansion rate is faster. Religious settlements is faster. And you get the free settler. I, I like that. I like that a lot. Now, it puts another few turns on that third settler. But that is good. Now, what I'm going to do is that the thing on this map is that you want to get into the middle of the of the prong as quickly as you can. That's kind of half the tactic here. So that's kind of what I'm going to go for. Um, I'm also going to see if I can push my troops a little bit um, and see if I can go take over another encampment, get me a bit more gold, try and get the Sanguine Pack unlocked. Like anything unlocked would be really, really cool here. Okay, saying that, barbs are absolutely proving a nightmare. Um... Okay, well, we're going to have to just retreat for a second. Maybe I need to actually just consolidate the land that I've got to start with. Build a little bit of an army and charge in. I think that's probably the best thing to do. It's going to be a packed arrangement. I've already got one, two, three, four, five spaces that I can put cities. Um, I've tried to code them up a little bit. So I've got this city for that campus, this city for that campus, this city for that campus. Which will help, um, but harbours are the most important thing. Space is limited on this map, you see. It's really, really limited, so making use of all of the sea, it, it makes a huge difference and really helps you to sort of expand. I'm wondering if building the Great Zimbabwe would be a really good thing to do this game. It's a good wonder. Extra trader capacity. Trader routes from this city get plus two god for every bonus resource within three towns of the city and in this city's territory. Must be adjacent to commercial hub district of the market and adjacent to a cattle so you have to put it in extra commercial hub and next to a cattle uh, and and three tiles bonus resources i mean there's like one two three, four. there's a lot of bonus resources. i mean it would be a really good one so you know what i'm gonna give it a go i think it's kind of worth it now whether we actually get to build it or not is another thing but i put it down and i'm gonna at least attempt Colossus is another wonder that would be really good to build but we're getting ahead of ourselves there's, there's a lot to consider here a lot to think about and you know, actually getting this arrangement is going to be tough. There it is. First city. Getting into the central prong is so important. And this, this barb arrangement, not happy about it. Not happy about it at all. This is absolutely not what we wanted to see at this early stage of the game. I always hate using early game gold like this. But I, I honestly think getting a slinger is going to help me to expand. And that is going to help me to push out and get the settler into the middle of the map. If I don't do that, I'm going to regret it quickly. Switching to a Gogi and Urban Planning quickly so I can start to spam just two or three Settlers. Foreign Trade time now as well. Luckily I think I've actually managed to push them back a bit now by this sort of spam that I've got going. I'm going to meet somebody pretty quick. So I'm not going to rush that one. I want to improve TC resources I think. Um, I'm just going to quickly get Archery so that I can actually survive this ordeal. But I think getting a Builder in uh, that will be nice and quick and a good thing to do. In that city and also in this city, I just need to improve them nicely, get my infrastructure set up and, and sort of run from it. Now this, oh please just die, please just die. Oh it didn't die, never mind. Um, anyway, we'll push the settler out and there's Marley. I knew I'd meet Marley soon. Writing is done. We are going to try and make friends with people. Oh, they've already levied from Cahokia. That's always a good sign, isn't it? That's always a really good sign. That means they've been amongst... There we go. I, they've been amongst the city-states. I've, I've sent them a delegation. We'll see what that makes them feel like. I mean, hopefully it'll make them feel joyous. Um, okay, this city was number two, so I'm gonna just gonna pop that campus down and let it improve me. Marley wants to be friends. That's good. That's good. We've made a friend already. Early doors. Um, do they want to be selling me diplomatic favor? They do. And let's buy this up and sell it later. That'll be good. A dark age beginning of the game. That's really not what I wanted. I really wanted a golden age so I could get some settlers out quickly, but that's not going to happen. Um, this slinger is being a nightmare. 
and stopping me from advancing, which I really don't like. Um, we need to go and deal with this barb camp quickly. There's a huge barb problem in the middle of the map. I don't like it. Cool. Okay, I'm getting into the middle of the map now. That's good. That's good. I've built the second builder. That means I can go and improve that second fish and work out where the hell harbors are. Really need harbors. Could do with some boats as well to go and explore the map a bit. I think we are going to kill the barb camp though. Hopefully so. Yes, 30 gold and some era score. Takes me out of the dark edge. It just means if I'm going to go and settle the middle of this island, I'm going to have a little bit more luck, hopefully. There's Mount Kilimanjaro and I found Mulan and the Hermetic Order. The Hermetic Order gives me a governor. First governor is going to go to Amani into Samarkand immediately. I want to go use her to go and uh, get a suzerainship and discover other city-states as quick as I can. There's Celestial Navigation. It's through Irrigation. That's where we're going to go. That's what I want, Celestial Navigation. So the good thing about the middle of the map is the abundance of luxuries. You've got silver, marble, truffles, cotton, mercury, tea, ivory, gypsum. It's all here. And I want to settle within two tiles of Kilimanjaro oh, no. as well. Canada is there. We're going to start meeting people now. Um, uh, if I can just get themselves a delegation. I like the idea of an early game friendship before people can really hate me too much. Um, that will make sure that nobody attacks any of my middle cities if I get those going. You can see I'm building a diplomatic favor bank as it's being sold to me. Will Canada buy it from me just yet? No, they won't. Nobody's buying just yet. Sweden. Okie dokie dokie dokie. Yes, I know. I know God has withdrawn his bounty from me. It was the barbs. The barbs did it. I, I swear. Right. Um, Sweden. Uh, no, everyone's got a negative relation of me. It's like, what am I doing? What's going on here? But I can make a big claim to the center of the island, which is nice. It, it, it's not the best timing. There's only two turns left and I can't really get five era score. Unless I rush a galley through somehow. Somehow. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that. 14 production needed and I've got 11 at the moment. And I can't really rush it, unfortunately. So, uh, there's not much I can do on that front. Unless there was something I could uh, destroy and, and, and harvest. But I don't really want to harvest that stone. And it's going to take more than two turns to do that anyway. So, no. Chances of me doing that, unfortunately, are slim to none. Sweden will buy my uh, diplomatic favor, but not for much, unfortunately. And 14 for some horses is not great. Just doing my best to keep the visibility of this prong as clean as possible. I do not want barbs appearing in this uh, strand of the island. That would be awful. Have they just left a barb camp for me? Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, unless, unless, now do I get era score from buying a barb camp? I mean, I know it's going to spawn more barbs, but should we give it a go? I actually don't know this. This is a bit of a gamble. No. Okay, you have to use a unit to do it. I mean, there's no way I was going to do that, and it got me the gold anyway. So, I mean, it's it's not the worst thing in the world, but... Yes, this is interesting. Okay. I'm, I'm glad we I'm glad we made that experiment. That was good. Yeah, everything is just sort of one turn out, unfortunately. It went to the next era, just as I'm about to get suzerainship and a boat. So, okay, it got me four era score, but still... Oya, I've discovered, I've got foreign trade. This is where the game kicks into action. 51 turns in, we've barely done a thing. But Kokia, unfortunately, has been nabbed already by Mansa Musa. I don't like that at all. Don't like that at all. Eureka's fair. We need to get lots of Eureka's. We need to get lots of trade routes. Some people are in Golden Ages, but I'm not. I think building uh, three inquiry normally gives me the best for giving me science buildings, but also by giving me points for Eureka's. Anyway. Let's get this galley into the open sea and we can go and explore whilst I just work on getting a settler or four. Oh, I do already have four trade routes available to me is the thing. Nine gold is not great, but I could start sending nine gold trade routes. I just, I need to get the um, Owls of Minerva. If I can do that, I'll feel a lot better about the whole situation. Maybe I should get traders first. I mean, they're only four turns. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's probably a good idea. Oh. There we go. I just boosted something and got Alzheimer never. Okay, well that that explains that. That was that was uh there we go. State workforce. Horseback riding next. Celestial navigation. We're on the way. Oh, hello. That's pretty useful. Let's um let's do that. Free military unit. You know. Oh hey, Bandar Brunei. Now has anybody met them? No, they haven't. What do they want? Send a trade route. That's awesome. We're going to do that very soon. That'll give me two envoys with them. So at the moment, I want to keep Amani where she is. I think that's useful. 
Gentle Eruption. Kilimanjaro gives such good yields. Oh, hello. That is a settler. That is a settler. I will steal that if I can. Um, let's actually get some troops into the area as quick as I can to go and steal that one. That would be awesome. Uh, that kind of changes a lot of what I was thinking of doing. Beowulf, Oya, and Mulan, by the way. None of these are great for, for my purposes. I'm still trying to explore more, trying to put more city-states um, into sort of, you know, I don't want to find them all, do cool stuff. Yeah, at the moment, this isn't great. Actually, this galley can just go and explore this way quickly because I can't send it to Bandar Brunei at the moment. Just wait one turn, trader. One single turn. Oh, that's fortuitous. They're going in exactly the direction I want them to go in. I mean... It, it, it is fortuitous in a sort of way. I get that. I kind of wanted to go upwards, actually. That's a bit annoying. But stuff like this happens every game. You just need to be sort of ready to take advantage of it if you can. I'm going to sell these horses. Let's get the gold up front. 288 gold. That's going to be really useful because now I can use that to get a builder, I think. Or do I use it to get a trader and just accelerate the gold through? Hang on. Let's just quickly get this. There we go. Now we've unrocked a, a trade route, which I just need to, hang on, sort that through. Oh, it's going to be next turn before it unlocks itself. But, okay. Um, in that case, I'm going to move you to this place. And then watch this. Vicky, it's England. Come on, kill the archer. Kill the archer. Bam. Yep, that's mine. Oh, that is a Swedish settler. If it doesn't escort itself, I will capture that next turn. I might regret it, but I will do it. Just as I do the usual thing of scooping up all the diplomatic favour from people who don't need it. And then obviously just stealing all of it from Sweden. That's lovely. Owls of Minerva. Okay, perfect. We've got that. That gives me an extra economic policy slot. And each trade route to a city-state gives me an envoy. So I can send this to Bandar Brunei now. And bam, that gives me two envoys. Oh, lots of people don't like that, but that's okay. Um, right, that gives me two, and you can see next turn I'm going to get one in Port Ryan, which will help matters entirely. There's political philosophy. I can ignore mysticism and military tradition and go straight to early empire. That kind of makes sense for me. I like that a lot. And then we're going to get plus two gold from, uh, uh, you know, um, trade routes, which is really cool. I think for now that's going to be fine because I'm just working on getting trade routes up. Congo are distinctly lurking around my lands here, which is a little bit annoying, but we're kind of just sort of lurking ourselves. I don't really want to let them do this. Hercules has already been taken by Victoria. That's a little bit of a shame. Look at this land grab going on in the middle here. Oh, I really want this settle to go down whilst Sweden is faffing with theirs. Chances of that happening, though, are slim to none. I'm just going to pick up a settler in this city as well whilst we can. And with this Banar Brunei, that's a 12 gold route. Bam. It's my... I'm, I'm the person that now controls it. Maui. Okay, actually, he'll be really cool. I can put down um, luxuries with him. So let's get that monument sorted quickly. And then we'll go from there. No one is settling. But everyone's just faffing around, which is wonderful. Because it means I can settle. You all took far too long, my friends. This is actually good. That... That sort of gives me quite a lot of the luxuries in that little pocket. And I'm just sending another settler down here to do the same. And that should guarantee me quite a bit of space. Just picked up some dyes. But Sweden's offering me loads of money for it. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Um, if they go to war with me, they go to war with me. Celestial Navigation. Harbours. Ha ha. That's what we're after. That is what is going to win us this game. Diplomatic favour. You can see I can still buy the stuff from everybody except Sweden. Um, and then I'm selling it to Sweden, really. Uh, I mean, there's a chance they could go to war with me. That is the only thing I'm just sort of keeping a little bit of an eye on. But I think for now we're okay. Yeah, the Congo went to war with me. I kind of expected them to do that. Um, it's a little bit of a shame. But I think I can get my settler out quickly enough before it's a problem. It just depends on, yeah, I can move to there. There's the Galapagos Islands. I'm going to go and settle near the Galapagos if I can. And we're just going to give these guys a parting shot. There is a Congo Horseman, though. I do need to just keep an eye out for that. But you can see two turns off the monument. I'm going to fling a hero into Gimme, Gimme, Gimme. And that should hopefully help to protect me. Although saying that, I could now declare war on England and take that settler. But I really feel like I'm going to be stretching myself too much doing that. So I'm going to reinforce the cities I've got. Now, I could regret that. That could be a mistake in the later stages of the game. Maybe expansionism was what I should be driving at, but I think for now I'm just play I'm playing safe. Where's well, got the best trades? 
It's all in my capital, isn't it? Oh no, slow pokes, hang on. Yeah, it's all in my capital, that's good fun. I, I could get science from trading with Marley, that's the thing. They do have a lot more science than me. So it's whether or not I do that, or do I take the envoys whilst I've got them. Oh, Mogadishu, I've just found Mogadishu. Is that because they're at war with me? No, they're not at war with me just yet. But they will be soon. Bandar Brunak. Yeah, actually, no, you know what? I can, I'm going to trade with... Um, oh, hang on. Amani's just been... She's useless. She's absolutely useless. Yeah, go to Mogadishu. That's perfect. Oh, great. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm losing my track here. But let's get the trader. Let's get all the traders going. That'll be good. Actually, I can bribe Sweden into joining me in war against the Congo. And England will give me money to do the same. Brilliant. Sable Canada. Okay, so who's at war with the Congo now? Everyone except Marley, my friend... Who's refusing to do it for some reason? Which I think is just unfair, but but never mind. Actually, this King Arthur is going to just lay waste, lay absolutely waste into the Congo army. I'm looking forward to seeing that. That's going to be brilliant. I have a feeling I may temporarily lose this city, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. We have the army to take it back. Plus, I'm just about to pick up um, my hero. I could be your hero. Maybe I should go for a warlike hero here. Beowulf? That would help me. That would help me kick ass. Um, I mean, what strength are we talking about here when we talk about heroes? 46 melee or 42 for Mary? <sighs> you would be... I, I'm going to I'm gonna stick to the... Oh, that's Mulan. Um, stick to the big plan here and go Mary. I mean, I, I'm, I'm hoping that's going to be good enough for what I need. Yeah, they took the city, which is unfortunate, but... It's not the end of the world. Let's get a governor in quickly. I'm just going to pick up somebody I think is going to be useful in the longer run. Moksha turning faith into districts would be a good idea. Um, I'm just, it's, it's all about gold, really. Land acquisition, Reina. Any you know, routes going through her? That's pretty good. Now I'm going to go Moksha. I, I feel like being able to buy in districts is going to be useful later in the game. So I'm just going to go for that. I, I mean, we, we may regret that choice quickly, but we'll, we'll see. We will regret is settling here because this is going to be very difficult to keep the loyalty of, but we'll, we'll go for it anyway. Oh, no, actually, I'm, I'm just going to have to actually bring her away from the city-state temporarily just to hold my cities. This is terrible. I need to take that one back, and quickly. Right, 42 strength hero. Through you go to slow pokes. We're going to start taking this back if we can. I'm going to start hitting that horseman. We've got some units coming in. I, I, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough, but I think we can do it. My first campus is set up. That gives me a bit of era score as well. I'm hoping for a golden age. I'm pretty sure I'll get a golden age, but you never know in these games. Oh, yes, I really need to take these cities for the loyalty. It's really, really, really struggling at the moment. But look at that. That is a powerful attack. That is an incredibly powerful attack. Bang, bang. Hopefully next turn we can take that city. Oh, I knew, I knew losing visibility in these areas was going to cost me a barb camp or two, but... Oh, it's just something we had to go for. Here we go. City's back under my command again. Phew. Okay, we're gonna build a sort of setup here, but I mean, it's gonna be key. it's gonna be difficult to hold on to these. But actually, that helps the loyalty of my own city there. So that's pretty cool. What about um, settling? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's no other settlers I can do in this sort of area. But I mean, I own enough of this neutral land now that it's awesome. If Marley do settle in this sort of middle gap, it's gonna be annoying. But I'm pretty sure. We'll be able to sort of uh, loyalty them out of town. Woohoo! Nine tiles improved and zero damage to me. Actually, I say that. This archer got nuked a little bit. But apart from that, zero damage to me. Um, let's get this archer um, kind of maybe a little safer. We'll go with Garrison and then we'll give Volley. Actually, the heavy chariot can come and like hide in the city for a second to try not to die. So amenities are one of the major problems in this area, so we're going to help ourselves by just improving a bunch. There's a plantation to get some cotton in, and we'll get some uh, luxuries in up here as well. We've got ivory, we've got gypsum, we've got truffles, we've got loads of builders on the way now, which is wonderful. I did spend a little bit of money getting some builders, which I always regret doing eventually, but... Um, oh, Marley's going to end up stealing that encampment, which is a bit annoying. I kind of need the era score there, but never mind. I'm wondering whether attacking the Congo cities is a good idea here. Um, they want a bunch of gold for peace, so they're not going to go to peace very quickly. Which is not friendly of them, but we're going to have to just sort of ignore that. Oh yeah, look. Marley did steal that barb camp from me. How annoying. Never mind. We've got Celestial Navigation. That's awesome. So, currency is the next one down there. We'll get pottery quickly. I don't know how we hadn't got pottery already, but... 
That's fine. Let's get the harbour involved next time round. Oh, Marley wants a joint war with Christina. That's something to keep an eye on, actually. They're giving me quite a lot of gold per turn, but Christina don't really have a lot of army. 90 military strength, so I could kind of take advantage of that a little bit. I'm just moving my troops in there, get some gold in. I mean, that city's about to rebel. I mean, that's intriguing. I don't think I'm going to have the loyalty to pick that up. I think that's going to be a Sweden job, but military is something I should be keeping an eye on here because I could easily go for a more military playthrough and, uh, and do pretty well out of it as well. There we go. Now they want peace. I'll take it. I'll take it. Gives me an opportunity to attempt to repair some of the damage here. Population is, is a real big thing in the middle. If I can get gimme, gimme, gimme into a, a bit of a population powerhouse, it's going to really help. Just harvested a resource so I can build the harbour in my second city. That works well. Look at that for a deal to go to joint war with Christina. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I've only got nine gold per turn with her, so that's that's good. Yeah, sucks to be you. Right, now, now that I've done that, I'm just going to go and see if anybody else wants to go to war with Christina. Um... I mean, at the moment, I think a lot of people are still at war with the Congo, which is a little bit annoying. But, I mean, I did kind of start that one. Look at this. England wants to go again. Hooray! So, yeah, Christina's now at war with everybody as well. That's good. That's good. God, I, I think I'm just a bad person. I think that's what I've taken from this. I'm just a terrible, terrible person. I'm at war with Samarkand now. Oh. Well, that's intriguing. Oh, the first resource monopoly in the world. Nice, I've got 10 gold per turn coming from that. That's an ivory monopoly I've got going. I mean, that wasn't really even deliberate. It just sort of happened. Got some good deals going on as well now, actually. A lot of gold per turn coming in. I wonder when the, the correct time is going to be to flip between earning gold and spending gold. I haven't quite figured that one out yet. I've got 680 gold for a settler, and I kind of want to populate all these things. Only one, two, three, four, five at least to make what I need to make. Just like the idea of having all this silver in my land. So you know what? I am going to actually get a settler. It's going to probably suck in a little bit because the loyalty of these cities is going to fall, but never mind. Is it There's the Signy. Um, oh, Hippolyta. She's really good for combat, actually. That's quite exciting. And there is a settler there. That's intriguing as well. Aha, Hunza. Right, we're meeting the last few city-states. Now, the more I discover, the more potential trade routes I've got from my capital, which is a wonderful thing. Kamasi, Muscat. Kamasi's the one I want, actually. Inspiration for military training. I'm going to give one there. I'd love Kamasi. That gives me, what is it? I think one culture and two gold? No, two culture and one gold for every specialty district in the Origin City if I send a trade route to city-states, which I've got three of at the moment, but I could get more. Just put a horseman in this city. I keep spending all my money. This is going to be a terrible thing. This is It doesn't matter how well I'm doing in the game. It's just how well I'm, you know, what gold balance I've got. But I just saw a settler, so I had to go for it. So you've got to take these opportunities. You really do. I, I'm a strong believer in that. Because, like, Canada is going to steal this city, unfortunately. So I need to more of an army in this area if I'm going to take it. It's unlikely that I'm going to be able to pull that one off. Let's get mathematics. Three different specialty districts. I'm still building all the districts I can. There's nothing really going for me at the moment. Mary's Inventions. Right. Uh, Flatland Desert, I seem to remember, is a really good one for this. So there's some ivory, and we're just going to keep on improving the Flatland Desert with him. Oh, so Samarkand Galley has decided to just park itself right where I was just about to finish my uh, my harbour. That's 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 annoying. That's really annoying. I'll give it that. I have to build a galley to get rid of it now. Ugh. Marley isn't settling any of their land, so I'm going to do it for them. Quite like uh, having some more gems over here that works for me. As a builder, you can go and improve the land and work it nicely for me. And Kasploosh. Yeah, people, people aren't going to like me doing this sort of thing, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> Let's improve the immunity quickly. Nice, we're getting more and more Monopoly bonuses. The more luxuries we control on this map, the better luck we're going to have. Like Silvertown over here, look at this. Kasploosh, apprenticeship boosted nicely. Kasploosh. Right, come on Sweden, we need peace now. We need peace now. They're going to give me 16 gold, that's good. Because their city-state keeps pillaging all of my trade routes, which is really annoying. Um, but it's okay. It's Marikana. It just gives me more opportunities to have like better routes available. So and I'm spending money on traders and things. I know that. Um, let's get the lighthouse in and then we'll get this trader. 
And then this trader. We, we must be hitting the point soon, actually, where I need to stop spending all my money. Uh, I just don't want to commit to that point too early. Like now, but I've got a capital of a decent amount of production, so maybe, maybe this is the time. Political philosophy. Let's get classical republic going. I think that's probably the best one to do. Yeah, I like the cards that this one gives me. So I'm getting lots of money from my trade routes at the moment. I've got Ilkum going, which gives me more builders. I kind of like the idea of having maritime industry so I can build some boats, urban planning, and let's go for, I mean, diplomatic league. Hang on, let's just have a quick look at this. There's a bunch of city states I haven't actually made friends with yet. So let's get diplomatic league in as well, like so. And Kasploosh, better government better time to be had. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Midnight Oil, Trafidaskby, Paul Coffey, Senjik, and Kroger Brand Trail Mix for all of your support on Patreon. Thank you very much.